fourth day of this third Cornhill Test match at Headingley, a day where England started off looking as though they had to concentrate on all-out defence and where the Australian bowlers seemed as though they would be in the ascendancy. The scorecard at the start of the day was six for one England. Graham Gooch, the man out, caught on Saturday evening by Alderman off Lilly without scoring. Immediately after that, the umpires went off the field, boycott Nort not out, and Brearley four not out, six for one. That's the situation at the start. England needed 221 runs to avoid an innings defeat. Dennis Lilly started off finishing his over. He had three balls to go from uh, the unfinished over on Saturday evening. Terry Alderman then bowled the first full over. Mike Brearley had made a single, and Alderman is bowling to him now in the commentary box. Tom Graveney and Christopher Martin Jenkins. Very well timed stroke. And four runs. Lily again from the Caxtell Lane end. That's a good shot. Long chase back for Hughes, but it's going to be a vain one. And Mike Braley has been very precise on anything slightly over pitch so far this morning. Yes, easy as you like. Thank you very much to Terry Alderman at third slip and the first victim of the morning for Dennis Lilly. An excellent delivery this pitched on the off stump he had to play at it and it just left him off the scene and Terry Alderman made that catch look very very easy in uh, 25 tests that he's played in between the two countries and that now equals Hugh Trumbull Trumbull's record of 141 wickets in only 31 tests he took those between 1890 and 1903-4, so another record falls, but uh, more important in the immediate circumstances, England's captain falls for 14. And England are 18 for two. And an excellent delivery this pitched on the off stump. He had to play at it, and it just left him off the seam and Terry Alderman made that catch look very, very easy. So the expression on David Gower's face rather reflective of England's position. Oh, straight through him. Gower almost looks as though he didn't see that one. Don't think he's very happy about the light. He certainly wasn't very happy about that delivery. And this one bounced and went straight through him, just over the corner of the off stump. Jeff Boycott has taken the precaution of wearing one of these uh, new patented arm guards very wise precaution it is in uh, a few batsmen over the years been struck on that forearm playing forward or trying to take evasive action it's um, darting back pretty sharply but no boycott uh, didn't play a stroke it's a question of whether or not the ball would have hit the stumps can be out not playing a shot Fairly dangerous to do that, but I think just missing the off stump. Thirty minutes batting for David Gare, and now he's off the mark.
There's uh, Stipfield is there waiting for the touch from David Gar. Man at third slip is Terry Alderman. He's already taken a catch in that position for the right hand of Brearley this morning. On his right, at uh, second slip, Alan Border, and at first slip, Graham Wood. And then away on his left, John Dyson. And the man going around there now is Raymond Bright. He's going across to leg slip. delivery this from Dennis Lilly and really if England are going to have any chance they've got to cash in on the bad ball they've got to hit it for four if they're going to get out of this game and throwing there from Trevor Chapel and a fine shot from David Gower. Here's Alderman. That was very well bowled, but my word, it did cut a long way off the seam. Alan Border safely took it there at slip. I reckon that must have pitched around about middle and leg and finished up outside off stump. Uh, David Gower has gone for nine, 37 for three now. Excellent piece of bowling from Terry Alderman. But I'm not too sure there's very much Gower could have done about that. <laughs> That's close, yes. I'm afraid he has to go LBW again. Second time in the match, Mike Gatting, and Alderman has struck again. He removed Gower. Now he's taken Gatting, and England 41 for four. Mike Gatting felt it might have been going down the leg side. The keeper's fairly well in line with the leg stump. That's usually quite a good guide. And in uh, six innings, so far in this test series, Mike Gatting has been out over W five times. The latest one there on your scorecard. W to Alderman for one. Peter Willey, the man coming in to join Boycott. Just a little bit short there. It's a nice take or a nice stop by Skipper Kim Hughes. That's good over from Alderman. Seemed to me to put uh, even more shoulder into it in that over, and he was really hitting the pitch hard, running up strongly. off the mark but for one instant he must have wondered where it was going yes well not much of a shot this he's played it right away from his body as it is he managed to get a thick top edge Brilliant bit of batting by Jeff Boycott this morning.
and four runs, the first hook stroke of the innings, certainly the first middled one, not absolutely off the middle perhaps, but well enough to get four and to give the spectators, the England supporters amongst them, something to smile about. 